Welcome back. We found uh, pretty much everyone of the club except for Hedemann. We're sharing a room with Price, but wasn't in there. Well, technically, we also don't know where Von Zell is. I mean, we saw him coming out of the room, but we don't know where he went. So, Hedemann and Von Zell must be hanging around somewhere else. So, let's see if we can find them. Oh, well, that was easy. There's Hedemann. Drinking, as usual. Hey, Henneman. Looks like we finally have a chance to talk. Well, as long as my glass is full, you can ask me anything you like. All right, let's pick his brain about various uh, topics. Are you especially close to anyone at the club? Oh, I drift on the fringes here, Knight. You, however, seem to have gone straight to the top. Oh, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> ah, don't be modest. Everyone can see you as a new golden boy. <laughs> Why do you think Von Zell bothers to hate you? <laughs> Are you and Von Zell good friends? No, I was never good enough for Von Zell. <laughs> now, I get along better with those who do not think so much of themselves. <laughs> von Agner? Yeah, von Agner's a good man. Dr. Klingmann, too, I like. He comes by the Donizel and drinks with me sometimes. Well, you could stop by sometime if you want. Yeah, I don't like drinking alone. Oh, thanks. Maybe I will. Yeah. Well, he may not like drinking alone, but it sure doesn't seem to stop him. Let's see what his relationship with Klingmon is. You and Klingman make an unlikely pair. <laughs> what do you find to talk about? A <laughs> doctor likes to discuss the club philosophy. He's very enthusiastic, you know. And that's what made him want to join in the first place. <laughs> you sponsored Klingman's membership. Me? No. Von Zell. Von Zell? He doesn't seem like the welcoming type. Oh, that's what I thought, too. You know, when Von Zell brought Klingman in, I thought they must be very close. But the way Klingman asks questions, you, you'd think he hardly knew Von Zell. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I mean, who can say why Von Zell does anything? <laughs> well, I think we can make a pretty educated guess at this point. And the zoo wolves definitely seem to have something to do with it. I guess we should try and confront Herr Klingmann after we finish talking to Bryce, of course. Is there any reason you don't want a room with Price? No, you may not have noticed, but the man is a rotting schwein. Why the Baron puts up with him, I will never know. I can tell you what he's doing right now, up there in his room. He has shut himself in the bathroom. And he isn't taking a bath. Mm. I tell you, you can't turn your back on a man like that. No one is safe. I thought Price was a hotshot lawyer. Yeah, was. Ten years ago. He's lucky he doesn't need the money now because he can't get work. Why not? He's too obvious with his nature, you know? Okay, so maybe other men are like this, you know, thinking only what's between their legs. Price, he has no respect for normal human decency. He flaunts his perversion. Isn't that what the club's about? Getting in touch with one's instincts, uh, being primal? Yeah, okay, so it is. Um, that's a question for the Baron, not for me. I, uh, I only say what I see about prize. Hmm. Well, that pretty much uh, lines up with my own thoughts at this point. <laughs> he is just a creep. Not uh, very high on the wolf suspects lists anymore, but he is creepy. Hanuman himself, also probably not our werewolf, then he never really was one of the candidates. All signs still point to uh, Von Zell. This is a nice hunting lodge. Do y'all come here often? Oh, at least once a month altogether. Oh, we can come any time we want by ourselves. Do you have any other properties where y'all hunt? Yeah, we have a lodge at Alfdorf. But we don't go there much. It is not so convenient as this one. Alfdorf. Mm -hmm. Where the hell's Alfdorf? 
Is the club in Alfdorf close to a forest, too? Not close. In. It's in the Naturpark Schwäbisch Frankreicher Wald. Of course it is. As we expected, that is the other wood where there were missing persons cases, according to um, the research Übergau did for us. Have you ever heard of the Black Wolf? Black Wolf? No. Thanks for the talk. Yeah, auf Wiedersehen. Okay. Well, I guess we should uh, confront Klingman about the wolves. But, let's look around this room first. There's a closet here too. See if there's anything in it. There he is. Nice closet. That's not a useful observation. But what's this? Looks like a lantern. And, you know, in adventure games, if there's a, um, a light source you can carry around, you must always do so. Kind of an old-fashioned lantern. I have a feeling it can get pretty dark around here. I'd better be prepared. Unlike the uh, tinderbox in King's Quest VI, this does not appear to come with any... Uh, flint or anything else that we can use to actually ignite the lantern. So I guess we should look around for something that we can use for that. Hunting trophies on the walls, I guess. And fireplace. Oh. I wish someone would start a fire. I guess it's chilly or something. Doesn't appear to be anything else of interest. Uh, well, there's nothing else here. I don't want to go outside yet. So, let's uh, go upstairs. And confront Klingmon. Come and see. Let's show him the wolf tags, see what uh, his reaction is. It will be interesting to see. Hildegun and Parcival. Nice names. My good. Don't worry. I'm not going to turn you in. Please, and I, it would mean my job. Yeah, I said I wouldn't. Not if you tell me exactly what happened. I'm afraid. Of Von Zell. It's his fault. I only followed his instructions. Why did Von Zell want to kidnap those wolves? Um, he said he wanted to own a pair because he admired their nature as predators. He, he told me he would keep them in a private place, a safe place, to study. How did you meet Von Zell in the first place? He came to one of my lectures about three months ago. He was very knowledgeable about wolves, very. Uh, he said he admired my work. I was impressed by his knowledge and his title. Then he told me about the club, about how exclusive it was, about their philosophy. It was, it was like a dream come true for me. Yes, it is seductive. So the wolves were your price of admission. How did you get the wolves out of the zoo? Um, I led Baron von Zell and another man that I didn't know into the zoo through a, a delivery gate. The other man drugged the wolves with some meat. When they were asleep, he and von Zell uh, put two of them into the truck and drove off. I was afraid when the police came and investigated the next day, but they didn't find anything. I, th I thought we had gotten away with it. Then the killing started. Your wolves aren't responsible. 
they were shipped to Taiwan. They never hurt anyone. That is, that is more of a relief than you could possibly imagine. But the wolves, are they safe? I don't have that information. What do you think? <sighs> Guess that's all I need to know. Please don't say anything to the police. I swear I have told you everything. Yeah, I know. I won't tell your dirty little secrets. For safekeeping. You enjoy your nap, Doc? Well, it seems Klingman was not directly involved in the murders. I believe he's telling the truth there. He's too afraid to uh, tell lies there. And I really would like to get into Fonzel's room, but how can we accomplish that? We have to get in through uh, one of the other rooms if we can't find a key. Well, theoretically, maybe from the outside, if there's a ladder or something, but... Maybe uh, we can reach it from the inside as well. Well, Fonglo's room is not an option because, well... Fonglo is in there, and he probably wouldn't uh, like it if we went... Uh, mucking about. Rooms on the other side of the lodge are kind of useless, so that leaves this room. Let's hope uh, Herr Price is still occupied. And let's hope he stays occupied. There's one thing I didn't do when I was in this room last. It has a window. Much like our own room. More woods than you can shake a stick at. Okay, sure. Right. Oh, I didn't actually mean to look away yet. Um. There's a down here as well. That's not a fall I'd care to take. That ledge runs along the entire face of the building. Too narrow to walk on, though. Without help. Yes, that ledge could help us get into Von Zell's room, but it seems that it won't be enough by itself. But we did find a rope. Maybe that can help. I hate it when I come up with ideas like this. Those are some pretty loud birds, by the way. Let's see. I don't think that looks strong enough, that hook looks strong enough to call Gabriel's weight. Well, let's hope we don't fall and find out, then. Also, let's hope Price doesn't come out of the bathroom, because this would be really awkward to explain. Even worse if Fonzel comes back to uh, into his room. While we are uh, engaged in these practices. I'm somewhat reminded of uh, Dreamfall, where we also had to go via the outside of the building, climbing through windows to get into uh, April's old room. Of course, we used fire escape there, which was a bit more easy to navigate than this narrow, steep ledge. Oh, 
I gotta give Gabriel credit. I would never do this myself. Can't people downstairs hear this? Henneman must be sitting there, there thinking, what's going on? Almost there. I don't think you can go further, no. We don't need to! Besides, if we did go further, Von Glauber is in his room. I'm gonna go say hi. I wonder what Von Glauber would say if he looked out the window now. I said you should take a walk, but I didn't mean on the roof. Right. Let's see what we can find. Search the bed. Anything? Doesn't look like it, but clearly visible there is the notebook. Apparently the same notebook that uh, we saw before lying on the, the uh, bedside table there. Let's take a look. Maybe we can find something new in there. That's the same entry we saw before, and in indeed, as Gabriel said while we were talking to um, Von Eichner about um, why Von Eichner gave Grossberg's name to Von Zell, Von Zell cut his debt in half. Price owes him 30 mark, which is not an awful lot. And then if what Hennemann says is true, then Price doesn't really need that much uh, money. Same entry I saw at the hunt club. Now we can't turn the page, but there does appear to be something stuck in the notebook. Let's see what that is. A letter. If I'm not mistaken, Grossberg was trying to cash in on all the excitement around the missing zoo wolves. Von Zell must have been the new business partner Grossberg told Dorn about. Guess Von Zell didn't care much for the idea. Okay, I was kind of hoping he would read it. Oh well, I will. Baron Von Zell. The newspaper says that the wolves which are missing from the zoo have been up to no good. It is funny to consider that you and I know the zoo wolves cannot be guilty, and that no one else knows this. I feel morally bound to tell the police, but I am a businessman, and could be persuaded to go against my instinct. A measure of good faith, say 500,000 marks, could ease my conscience. I'll wait two days for a reply. Why did he write this in English? Oh well, lucky for us, I suppose. Okay, well that answers that question. Grossberg tried to uh, blackmail Von Zell and was killed for his trouble. We'll see if there's anything else we can find in this room in the next video.